What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Just wanted to get this video up on the channel really quick because I have a project I need to work on for school. Don't worry guys, I will be bringing you guys a post-game video. If I can, I'll be bringing you guys, you know, the post-game live stream and all that or the recap video I meant to say. But at the end of the day, I have a stupid project to do. That's just how it is. That's how school is. But today, there was a report that came out as the New York Knicks are interested in trading for Andre Drummond and extending Andre Drummond. And I wanted to give you guys like my thoughts on this. Andre Drummond, of course, one of the best rebounders in the NBA for like the past few years. His ability to crash the glass is absolutely amazing. And if we're not giving up much, I really won't mind it. It's not like the number one player I want or anything. Because the NBA is way different nowadays. And nowadays, and I always thought he's been kind of overrated. Like, sometimes you could see him, like, not really give a shit about defense. That's just my opinion when I watch him play. But talk about something that can rebound. But then another question is, does it equal winning basketball? He's been a part of a lot of bad basketball teams as well. So how good is Andre Drummond really, if you know what I'm saying? Even though Tom Thibodeau, like, we were having these questions about Julius Randle. And actually, the rumor surfacing was Andre Drummond for a second-round pick. Like, that's, like, if you wanted to trade for Andre Drummond, you'll only be giving up a second-round pick. Do I think that's realistic? No. But it kind of is at the same time, because it's like the Cleveland Cavaliers, and the Cavs are not a well-run organization, and they want them gone. Like, that's the big thing, because they just want to get, like, this youth movement going. They know Andre Drummond's not a part of the future, and all that. But still, don't you want, like, some future good draft capital? I would try to get a first-rounder for him if I was the Cleveland Cavaliers. But Drummond's a good basketball player. We have Mitchell Robinson, though. Like, I'm not saying Mitchell Robinson's as good as Andre Drummond, but Andre Drummond, he's not extremely special. He's special when it comes to rebounding, knowing when to box out, locating the ball. He definitely has a nose for the ball. But do you want to end up trading for this guy if you give up any, like, future assets? If it's any, if it's a first-round pick, I'm not doing it. If it's a manual quickly, I'm not doing it. You don't give up a future, like, a part of your future, like, for Andre Drummond. Who, like, and pretty much if you're getting Andre Drummond, you're locked in of, like, trying to compete, like, right away. Like, you should be competing no matter what. But Andre Drummond, Julius Randle, RJ, is that enough to win a championship one day? And you're going to have to pay RJ at some point. You're going to have to pay Julius Randle. And you want to pay Drummond. But anyway, I'm not saying Mitch is as good as Drummond. But there's some similarities of, like, an old school type of big man. A guy that could dominate down low and all that. But, like, Drummond can't space the floor and there's some things Mitch can do. Mitch is a startable center for years to come, and he's still young and learning the NBA game. That I'm like, I'd rather stick with Mitch, a guy who could still be impactful, and you don't have to pay as much, if you know what I'm saying, you know? Like, it's starting to move in the direction of today's NBA. You don't need an elite center to go on to win an NBA championship if your backcourt is good enough. You just need a guy that's solid enough that could do the little things. And I don't know. I, I'm... I wouldn't be the biggest fan of going out there, getting a drum and giving him a big time contract. If we go out there and get a drum and then it's like we're ready to compete. But you also have to realize who are coaches of Tom Thibodeau. But Drummond's a good player, but I don't know if I want to end up get, end up giving him a giant contract when he is a player. I'm not going to say he's like big time replaceable, like he's a scrub. I'm not trying to like say that type of thing, but. Like, for example, Mitch is better than Noel. Some people can make the debate that Noel is better. He's a more mature center. And Mitch is more talented. We'll say that. But Noel could step into his role and still be impactful for this basketball team. So, Andre Drummond is really iffy. So, I'm kind of like on the fence. Because it really depends what we give up. But I just wanted to get this video up on the channel real quick. Appreciate your support. And peace out, y'all.